This is what Jesus told the people in a well-known sermon he gave on a mountain. Beware of helping people just because you want to be admired. If you give money to someone, don't be showy, Yay! making sure that everyone sees what you have done. Instead, give it to them secretly so that no one sees what you have done. God knows what your motivation is when you help others and will reward you for it. If you want to talk to God, look for a place where you can be alone with Him. Don't speak in big religious words like people who don't really know God. He is not impressed by that and will not hear you more if you sound spiritual. <laughs> no, <laughs> He is your Father and He knows what you need. With Him, you can be totally honest. If you do need help on how to pray, here is what you can say. Our Father in Heaven, you shall be honored. Do what is best, and do on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us everything we need today, and forgive us for what we have done wrong. Help us to forgive the people that have done something bad to us, and protect us from being tested, and keep us safe from all evil. If you forgive others, God will also forgive you. If you are not willing to forgive others, God will not forgive you. If you give up something for God, don't show everyone how hard the sacrifice has been for you. It is not important to look religious in front of other people. Do it secretly so no one will know. God sees your sacrifice and will reward you. Do not collect wealth on earth. Wealth can easily be stolen, and once you die, you won't be able to take anything with you anyway. It is better to collect treasures in heaven treasure that no one will be ever able to steal. Where your treasure is, that is where your heart will also be. It is impossible to work for two bosses. You can either work for money and wealth, or you can live for God. Do not worry about what you need to live. Look at the birds. Do they worry about how to survive? God takes care of them every day. Do you really think that just because you worry, you are able to make your life even one day longer? I mean, look at the flowers. They don't even care how they look, and yet they are still beautiful. If God takes care of the flowers, flowers that will be cut down tomorrow, how much more will he take care of you? People who don't know God spend all of their time worrying about these things. <laughs> but God knows you and will give you everything that you need.